Hey everyone, um, today I'm gonna try to make a detailed, um, a tutorial on how to make your own template. A template could be used, um, when you're designing. It could, I, honestly, I use it because I get bored sometimes from designing, so it just gives me a little background, like, you know, how you have your own wallpaper and stuff like that. I guess, and you could also use it to, um, prevent people from copying your clothes. So, first, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need paint.net or any indenting software that you use, and you're gonna need the template. Um, you could go to shirts or pants. I'm just gonna go to shirts and go to your character and go to create. Um, then it says over here, did you use the template? If not, download it here. So, download it here and get this. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you get pants or shirt, it's really the same thing. So, copy this, and I'm gonna use paint.net. Um, open a new picture and paste. You could rather save it and open it or copy and paste it. And um, so next, you're gonna start deleting everything. So just first start by deleting the pictures. Don't delete the inside yet though. So just delete all this. And then get the magic wand to um, take out the access stuff. And then you have this next and now you're gonna um, get your own background. I like to go on this Tumblr. You can go on Tumblr, Google, anywhere. I'm gonna go on Tumblr, and this is one of my favorite Tumblr pages. So, Team Revenge. Oh, they changed it. Never mind. But here yeah, they have some pretty interesting uh, backgrounds that I like. Uh, okay, I'll use this picture because I like it. Go. Oh, I just saw, oh, never mind, right here. When you find your background, just copy it and go back to paint.net. And when you're here, uh, open in a layer and drag the layer down so it should look like this. And press Control V. If it if this pops up, press Keep Canvas Size, and you might have to resize it. Now, if you have to resize it, go up here and press Nearest Neighbor to keep it. Um, uh, what's it called? So I won't um, be so blurry. And if you like it like that, then go ahead. And um, that's there. And if you um, you can search up like on Google, like trans um, transparent things like. Tumblr words, I guess, I don't know. Um, like this. If it's transparent, it has a little checkerboard at the back. And open a new layer, and... Whoa. If you're, what I like to do is I constantly make new layers so it won't interfere with anything. And uh, add your name to font. I'm gonna make a video on how to download fonts. Maybe after this one. And that's basically it. Um, you just do this and you can put it anywhere and everywhere. So, yeah, I'm actually going to take off this because I'm gonna have a link so you guys could download this if you like the background. So, once you're done, merge everything down. Okay. And then start deleting this and there you have your background um you could outline it with the plugin but if you're gonna outline it do that before you have um like For example, let me show you. Okay, so I have it here. I'm gonna go to effects, object, and I have this one, outline object. And um, to download this, go on paint.net plugin. Um, it's called outline object, and there should be a link to it. And I think there's it shows you how to download it, and you can just do that. And there's other types, other types of things, but um, that's really it for this tutorial.
short tutorial as well. And if you have any questions, this is my username. Just send me a message and I'll try my best to help you if you have any requests. Yeah, I'm pretty tired, so and that's it. Now I'm gonna make a video on how to make fonts. So yes, thank you guys for watching. I really hope this helped you, and if it didn't, I am sorry.